tactics of most of these insurgents group or rebel forces have been to recruit and use children. And particularly in Somalia, their war has ranged on for 25 years. They have various militia groups or various armed groups. And Somalia is one of the groups listed in the UN Security Council on the use and recruitment of children. So we have three groups in Somalia that are listed. So at least to be able to mainstream that, um, we are there to ensure that those children are not only removed from those armed groups, but also to prevent further recruitment of children. And training is one tool that is used, awareness raising, sensitization, and because AMISOM operates also with those other security forces, government security forces, so we want to ensure if they have this message, they can equally be able to mentor those other security forces not to use children as soldiers. Uh, Pre-deployment training have mandatory modules that the peacekeepers are either PCCs, police contributing countries or tourist contributing countries, are to undergo prior to their deployment into mission areas. These include international humanitarian law and uh, other issues on human rights. So um, child protection was not a standalone training or was not integrated into those trainings. But in the last two years, we have been able to ensure that these trainings are integrated into those pre-deployment. And because we cannot target everybody during those pre-deployment training, we found it, we thought it necessary that the mandatory in-mission trainings, we can be able to deliver and we will have more time to be able to not only organize a formal training session, but equally to reach out to a good number of them once they are in mission, especially when they are new, newly deployed or rotated troops. We train them on several issues. We are not only training them to be aware who is a child, what is a child, what is a child soldier, what is a recruitment, what is the use, but we actually again try to train them on issues of conduct, generally, sexual exploitation and abuse, uh, conflict-related sexual, sexual violence. We also try to let them think that will give them a, a, an informed general knowledge on things that they should be looking out for, how they can be able to prevent it, and again, how they can be able to interact, which to us, we think it will contribute to the overall success of the mission. So it's like complementing the military activities should also go in line with adherence to international norms, observing human rights generally, and for the protection of children generally, we must ensure that they are aware about the vulnerabilities of children and the impact of conflict on children. We have various training providers over the years. Um, some have been using the UN standard generic training module. We have other training providers like even Save the Children and the like, but everybody, though the, the objective has remained the same, but because of various doctrines that we are taught in the various parts of Africa, we think sometimes um, some information can be distorted and because um, we have to have a uniformed approach. So whatever we teach in East Africa can be the same that is taught in West Africa or SADC or North Africa. So to me, having a standardized training toolkit that can be used by all, especially when it is now going to be accepted by all, is a very big milestone. It helps. It helps to at least alleviate distortion of information. <music>